Hey guys, Hugh Shang here. Welcome back to another Hugh Shang Tutorials. It's a little bit late right now. It's like 1.40 a.m. So I had a moment to see how the quality turns out. We're playing Bomber, who is a Diamond Terran, I believe. I'm getting this so late. Alright, so we'll kind of keep with the format here of playing macro. And we're on post youth. So, this map does have some downsides. It's kind of hard to push the opponent on uh, two bases. And they can also hide their um, game plan pretty easily. So we got to be careful because they can kind of pretend to be walling off here and taking a base, but actually one base aligning us. Maybe a map I should even veto with Protoss actually. But okay, let's see what's up. Okay, no full wall. So we're getting a diamond. I think a diamond you should start harassing them like this. Even just a little bit to throw them off is really strong. The important thing is you don't mess up your own builds, so... You don't want to do that. So don't like over focus on harassing them. But just do just barely enough so you can keep up with your own build. And try to uh, increase the limit over time. Your probes are under attack. So we hit him a little bit and then we just... You know, shift keys and moves. This might be pushing it a little bit for a diamond, but I want to try and add on some uh, extra little things here and there as we keep uh, getting higher level. Okay, let's play Robo. I really like in this Robo before warp gate, actually. I think it's a pretty strong way to, to play. So he has one gas, he has a reactor now. So he's probably playing factory, but can't be sure. Another the second unit. There might be a small moment here where the uh, Stalker's not out and the Reaper's here. But it's a little better if you send the um, Adept out to put on a little bit of pressure of your own. Otherwise, you're just the one taking it. So let's try to get the adept active, but not micro it. He is in full. Pack. I have met the enemy. Okay, so we got a bunker, so I just go home. Let's get Ops. Now we see a second barracks here, so we could blind counter him and go for a Robo Bay, but I think most of the time you won't get a beautiful scout like this. Glorious so combat is upon let's us. not overreact too hard. But in your games, you definitely should blind counter in this situation. It's like a free advantage they're giving you. I mean, it's not even blind counter. Like, <laughs> full scout counter. Okay, let's grab the third. This kind of seems greedy, but like their production hasn't quite kicked in yet. So it's actually super safe what we're doing here. He's just going to be starting all his units. So we grab this first, and then we also make units, kind of match that. Complete. And then we get the best of both worlds. We don't die, and we get a lot of eco. One more OBS. Double gas. So I'm going to be going um nice uh, spot by the opponent. shield battery over here and then we're gonna go Colossus so basically the plan right now is to get like a very low amount of attack just the Robo Bay in the blink maybe charge saturate this mineral line maybe I'm not even fully like eight over here and then we just hold whatever he does 
So we're not trying to be too greedy right now. A couple more gates, maybe. Charge. Research complete. Yeah, and even this probe amount is plenty. Let's cancel a couple. So he's got his push here. Keep warping in for that. And it's really important you don't get too many probes here. Um, but if you do make a lot of probes, sometimes it feels like the game is easier because you just get away with murder. And it, it actually is easier, but it's more risky. So you want to actually play uh, more safe as you get higher MMR. I actually have no uh, energy. Kind of unlucky. So sometimes I tell students, or a lot I tell students, don't micro. And the rule is don't micro when it's not a main engage. So that was a main engage, so we can micro a little bit. Let's get our double forge now that we're kind of safe. Let's finish getting all our gateways. And notice here I'm stopping at mineral saturation because I don't really know what our opponent's doing right now. So we kind of want to confirm um, whether he's grabbing his third CC or not, which he is. So now we can do whatever we want here. We could choose to go into uh, a lot of tech or we could choose to play aggressive. So let's go for a lot of tech. Just cuz. Just a preference. And we have other options too. Like we can pick whatever tech we want, right? So maybe let's play DT. Upside of DT is uh, most people fall apart to it downside of DT is um, they're super expensive so if they don't get you very much uh, eco damage your research complete your tech is gonna suffer a lot so they kind of have to do something for you and if they don't you got to play from a little bit behind so they're a little bit of a gamble not a huge gamble but just a small little one and I think I recommend getting cannons here I think, it, I think at this MMR, it just makes everything easier. Like, you're not pushing too hard in the greed. So, a couple sentry. A couple more stalker. And now we don't want to make any more, um... Any more stalkers. Because the stalkers are, uh, not as good at fighting. So, you want to kind of have some, but... You really want to cap it off quickly. This guy's actually making quite a few turret. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. But the DTs will still be effective. As long as we wait till he moves out. And maybe we'll get the blink upgrade. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field upgrade complete. Okay, so now we're really uh we don't have good vision. So what we need to do here is just put some zealots around or some probes or pylons. Or remake these observers. Just to cover more ground. Maybe kill this uh tower as well Mineral field just make sure we can see like anything that's coming our way Mineral field depleted okay we're fully uh, saturated here got the full pylons let's add a bunch of gates And where is our OBS? So we kind of want to have vision of like whether he expands. And then that's when we go for our push. So right now we're kind of just chilling. Waiting to see what he's going to do. He has no fourth base yet. So there's no point in sending these DTs in at all. Base is under attack. Pylons over here, maybe as well. Get some more vision. Research complete. I don't want to show him my full army, so I'm just gonna kill this with a few Your units. Probes are under attack. Still no base. Probes are under attack. No base, no attack. 
Your probes are we can take up a little bit though. Or we can just keep massing units and uh, once we max then go. Maybe let's get a uh, Templar Archives. Maybe a couple more Robos as well. I'm sort of doing this because I'm maxed as well. Like I think if you're going to hit a timing complete. like this, you don't want to add a bunch of tech if it's going to like hinder your uh, your push. Upgrade complete. I think we should be careful here too because he's kind of expanding slowly. So there's no rush. We could maybe just wait for him to, uh, to move out. Or you know it would be sick play. Should we do sick plays? Yeah, we should probably do sick plays. <laughs> we did get the DT blank, so I'm going to shift these in. Hopefully he doesn't die. He's still not moving out, so... I think we're going to start going for air. If he refuses to move out here. Have engaged the enemy. Let those do their thing, and then we'll see what we can do over here. Battle is upon us. So this fight, we were a little more confident uh, going in because we had the DTs on the one side. So he kind of had to split his army, which um, makes it difficult to defend on both sides. So it's a bit easier to trade there. Okay, now we should be able to end the game. It's good being not as aggressive. Even yeah, we are ahead, but it's very good to be this uh, measured with your attacks because it's pretty easy to throw games in StarCraft 2. The like carry's pulling back, so there's no reason to go there. Let's go Upgrade over here. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Get some free damage on this side. We embrace the glory of battle. Good game. So, like like usual, uh, at the Simamar, a lot of the big problems are just macro related. So like for example, uh, I think here this guy's probably doing pretty good, but yeah. So like one major mistake this guy's doing is he's rushing out his E base here, and he's getting his third on time, but he's not getting his next two racks on time, and so that's kind of delaying his uh, his whole macro setup here. Usually you want to go plus one. Uh, Infantry and then plus one armor on the same eBay and then get the second eBay second uh, and the armory And then that way you can add in something like uh, second starport faster or your ghost Academy Yeah, and you can see here he's really cutting hard into these workers Okay, now he's getting the five racks. I mean, it's not so bad. He's He's got the general principles I'm not sure where this MMR is but he could be a uh, D2 or D1 even. Yeah, I mean, this needs to be transferred. We actually almost need a fourth base already. We're a little bit slow on the uh, on the bases. 
And what are we going for? Like drilling claws, like this is definitely bad, I think. It just delays your wood in my production too much. And what else? I mean, usually what you want to do with Terran is you want to kind of hit a big timing here with uh, with Vikings and maybe Ghost as well. And try to uh, to deal with this sort of army. So, like going 2-2 and the, the sensor tower and this many medevac is kind of delaying all that stuff. So I think that's mostly where he went wrong. His fourth is definitely late as well. Yeah, this fight was amazing for us. Like, he just doesn't have the Viking and the Ghost to actually deal with this army. He maybe needs, like, ten Viking and then three to six Ghost. And that would let him uh, compete with this army. But it's all kind of late due to the Metavax and then due to the uh, yeah, miscellaneous tech that's too much.